Okay, um, and the same for this one, no Part A items. Um, I want to say thank you for, uh, on item 3.2, um, there's been a lot of uh, quite significant progress with Manuka Cottage. I uh, acknowledge um, Councillor Scandrett um, and uh, Deputy Chairperson Carolyn Potter for their work on that uh, with staff. Um, and it, it's it's a very exciting move uh, for the Anniton community that's been that uh, Manu Cottage has been dislocated for quite a while, so I'm really pleased about that. Um, and then at ten, um, the the board has been frustrated over a long period of time around residents' car parks in Addington. There's supposed to be a clear process uh, for people in Addington to obtain residence car parks for people who don't have their own off street parking. Um, and I really just want to use this public um, forum just to encourage people mm. in Addington to apply using the process and to let the community board know that they have applied um, so that that you know if you do not have any any off street parking of your own um, so that if you have a garage and it's full of stuff that doesn't count but right. if you if you have if you're living in a workers cottage that has no parking you can get a residence car parking permit great uh, not a permit sorry a space they're not yep. doing permits. I think there needs to be a discussion at council around permits, um, and I don't know why that hasn't been had. But I, I think, yeah, it was when as part of the, part of the Addington car parking plan that discussion was started, and Councillor Clearwater was involved in that. So I think it's something important uh, as we uh, continue to take out parking and things. Mm, that's true. All right, so um, this time I'll do it the other way around. Councillor Clearwater. Oh, one seconded. more item. Can I, can yes, I say yes. one more thing? Well, I could, I'll move and second as the Clearwater Scandrit team. That, and now, yes? Um, just 3.9 uh, to 3.11. Uh, bus, uh, letting the council know why we turned down the bus stops on Burnbray. Because we felt, and I'm sure other, other wards did too, the process was very, very rushed in terms of implementing the, um, the bus stops for. Uh, Ecan's new routes, and we want a stop on Tennyson Street so that the people in Beckenham who've been denied bus stops, uh, uh, bus routes, sorry, except for down Tennyson Street, we want uh, bus stops integrated with the, uh, the cycle lane, and that's going to take some time. But we didn't want to put in permanent bus stops that were inadequate, uh, so it's not a matter of not wanting bus stops or uh, not wanting cycle lanes, it's a matter of wanting a solution that that works for everyone and uh, works for the residents of Beckenham. Yep. All right, so um, I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm by.